Welcome to another short SpaceX update video. Last night, Super Heavy Booster 10 was carefully rolled out from the Mega Bay to its testing site at Massey's. Surprisingly, it's not Booster 11 as we initially anticipated. If you take a close look, you'll notice there's no counterweight on the SPMT. That's because the base of the new stand is solid concrete. Booster 10 underwent a cryogenic test at Massey's a few months ago, and while many of us expected its engines to be already installed, it turns out SpaceX might have some upgrades in store, prompting this retest. Over at the orbital launch mount, there haven't been any major activities recently. This could suggest that all systems are ready and SpaceX is simply waiting for the green light from the FAA. Yesterday marked another milestone for United Launch Alliance, as they successfully launched their last Atlas V NRO mission for the Space Force. The mission, known as Silent Barker or NROL-107, lifted off from SLC-41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Mission, two, one, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying Silent Barker NROL-107 for the National Reconnaissance Office and the United States Space Force. It's worth noting that this is only the second ULA mission launched this year. ULA's next-gen rocket, Vulcan Centaur is facing delay due to certification issues after a Centaur upper stage explosion during testing at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center on March 29. That wraps up this brief update. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for more exciting updates in the next video.